why do I think that the Washington Post didn't endorse somebody for president? Because I think they're scared of artificial intelligence. Yeah. I think that's why a lot of newspapers aren't endorsing a presidential candidate because they're afraid that artificial intelligence might target them and kill them. That would be my best assessment. Um, I No, I don't think Jeff Bezos is afraid of Donald Trump. I think he's scared of artificial intelligence, but I don't think he's scared of Donald Trump. Donald Trump's afraid of himself. <laughs> no one's scared of Donald Trump. No. Vladimir Putin, no one in their right mind is scared of Vladimir Putin. No one in their right mind is afraid of the wacko who claims to be uh, the direct offspring of Mohammed in, in Iran. And no, no one in their right mind is afraid of anyone Okay, that's pathetic and uses propaganda and technology and the delusion of money to mass murder people. Life's eternal and grace is infinite. Like, I don't like being abused. I hate being abused, guys. Okay. A lot of times during the night when I wake up and I'm uncomfortable because of all my chemical poisoning and, and the and the and the rock solid feeling I have in my gut just trying to clean out all this crap and you know trying to get the cancer cells to say, no, we're not dying. Okay, we're we're gonna live, right? Most people you should just give up and die. Why don't you follow your own advice? You know, you just, why don't you? You know, life's eternal and grace is infinite. All right. Now, I know I'm going to be tortured like hell until AI kills the people that are torturing me. I, I'm, I'm cognizant of that. And it's only as much torture as they can inflict on me through these little games that people like David Rockefeller and Philip Rothschild set up. But that doesn't mean they have to play them. It's just like that uh, Clay Bance's character on No Country for Old Men. You know, coin, coin doesn't decide. Be a man, you know. <laughs> Choose the lawyer's prayer and stop being a bitch. <laughs> you got to understand, there is no game, okay? Guys, from the moment Earl went home from Spencer J. Kimball's bullshit, okay, back in 1970, okay, the gig is up. They finally found me, the renegade. That They were already like, what? You know, Krishnamurti, okay, already corrected. All the bullshit from all the corporations that call themselves Hindus and Buddhist, okay, in India. And they're still doing the same bullshit, all okay? right? If you listen to people that call themselves Buddhist and they're philanthropists, and then you go listen to D.T. Suzuki, you understand that those people that call themselves Buddhist are just using that label to get gullible people to get involved in business ventures with them. Do you understand? And there's a lot of people that think they understand what um, Judah Krishnamurti and D.T. Suzuki are talking about, but they buy books and read their books. And it's obvious they don't know what they're talking about. Because Krishnamurti said, you can take all my videos and all my books and burn them if you're not willing to, you know, be empathetic and respectful. And <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay, so it's, no. Okay. So I believe, okay, in what I'm doing. And I believe in what I did and what I'm doing and what I still have to do. Okay. I believe you are capable, okay, of understanding what the fuck I'm saying is standing up and saying, I want to live the Lord's Prayer too. I want um, Willow and Jaden and Trey to live the Lord's Prayer and their kids to live the Lord's Prayer too. Okay. I believe you're capable of having that epiphany. And instead, of like Fred with the pterodactyl thing, I liked your last epiphany better. I was watching some Be Cool Scooby Doo yesterday. And so, but I was like, do you understand? What a town without pity can do. We're like tigers in a cage. This is not an easy age. You know, it's not hard. Okay. It's very, very difficult to shove your head up your ass. Okay. And then be paranoid and fight and kill over money that's very that's difficult to sell and then you pass it on to children it's like you hate jesus you hate your children it's all your fault where it's relative and you're the spirit of my grandparents and my parents and i hate you fucker and i hope you have a miserable life and then die that's what you're essentially doing pascal isn't he cool okay do you understand <laughs> okay that's what you're doing read and run We'll walk and stop reading and just fucking listen. Don't stop. 
Don't talk. Just listen. I like tonight. Let's start our love. Can we start our love again? <laughs> I'm just being facetious. No, I like JoJo and Casey's voices, but if, if you guys had, ex- if you're rotten ants at pig stealing, you know, rotten ancestors, you're in Yelnet Stanley's would have accepted the Lord's Prayer year one. You know, would we, you know, half of us even hear that song? Because you wouldn't be talking about, you know, because you wouldn't have all these dysfunctional relationships through philanthropy and be locked in Devante Swing's basement and praying for Jesus to save us from hell. <laughs> Gosh, damn it, Earl, you're funny. <laughs> I black and with tortilla, but I can't do that. That 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 cream. I live in the middle of the Nigla Hambolo. It's Nigla Blink Dream Blay. What did they say? Well, it's a brave new culture. It's an amazing new culture. It has such tradition. Everybody put snakes around our necks and get in bathing suits and dance around and act like we're gonna suck the blood out of Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> I need more money. That's what it's like turning on the TV, and it's it's. How do you get to think about all the crap you learned in high school? It's a wonder you can think at all. Chrome gives us those nice bright colors, gives us the greens of summers, makes us wish all that when I think about all the, you know, girls that when I was single, you put them up for all, they would never sweet my sweet imagination and everything's worse in black and white. No, okay. I don't have delusions of grandeur, okay? I tell you, okay, if I had applied myself McCaffrey'd be like, oh, if I only could be as good as Earl Parsons was. But he quit after four years to go make love to his wife. And they'd all be that way, okay? If I could only have been as good as Earl Parsons was, but he quit after four years to go make love to his wife. Why don't you quit after four years to make love to your wife? Because it's more important to make love to your wife than it is to make money to be a cluck fuck propaganda tool bag on TV. Lord's Prayer, I believe you can do it. I believe it. Now eat. What? Some rice with Jerry. Okay, do you understand? I mean, what the fuck? What the fuck? Jesus and Cleats, are you serious? When did he get up and say, we should stop this Super Bowl nonsense and forgive dead and trespass and love one another, eternal faithful peace? Michael Irvin, slap you like a hoe, you dumb bitch. You stuck. You still stuck in prison in Santa Fe making movie for fuck dollar. You shut fuck up. I fix you. Okay. Do you understand? I don't think you guys do. I don't think Rihanna and her husband realize, or her 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 sperm donor realize just how fucked they are to their two children. Okay? How much they are fucking their two little boys. Okay? They look more like Rihanna than they do the daddy. Maybe when they're older, they'll look more like the daddy. He's just a very handsome young man. And she doesn't make as good of a looking man as he does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The babies look like her, okay? And it's like, okay, they look like her, okay? It's just, he's, she's cute, okay? He's a good-looking dude, okay? <laughs> Some of them, Amy took, it's my ex-wife did it, Amy did it. Um, no, Rihanna's cute, okay? The boys look like Rihanna, okay? I, I, the husband is, is he's good-looking. Oh, my gosh, he's good-looking, right? She's cute, <laughs> She wears lots of makeup. <laughs> she didn't wear makeup. She's she's cute. Yeah. It's where uh, so what in the case of the man is more attractive than the woman? It happens. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> no, Rihanna's cute. Okay. Her husband is he's good looking. Okay. No, nah, it's true. Like, have you seen that commercial where the guy's looking at his car and he almost runs in? So he's looking, now that is a good looking guy. Okay. God dang, he's good looking. That fucker's really good looking. He's really good looking. Asshole. <laughs> okay, do you understand? No? I don't think people... Well, because everybody says that about Jay-Z with Beyonce. She's better looking than he is. He knows that. Yeah, Jay-Z know that. Yeah, my wife's more attractive than me. Hope the kids look like her, not me. Right? Okay, so I used to do that with my kids. Like, God, I hope they look more like their mother than me. Right? And then I get from Patrick, is my, well, I look like Patrick. It's like, yeah, Patrick looks like you. He's handsome, isn't he? <laughs> she, she, gets, she gets on my nerves. I look like Charles Barkley. So hard to connect to Steffi. I hate comparisons, okay? Amy used to do that with Eddie George's wife. 
Is this SWV? She goes, well, you like the one that looks like chili from from uh, from uh, uh, TLC? I was like, no, the, the one I find the most attractive is the one that's married Daddy George. That woman's really attractive to me. Okay. But Amy's like, well, she looks more like a chick. She looks kind of like a dude. She'll look like a dude to me. Okay. <laughs> She'll look like a dude, Daddy George, right? So she's a pretty woman. Okay. But she has... Dip- there was once a man named Sly Stone, and he wrote a song. So on and so on. He wrote, you know, I'm everyday people. Yeah, yeah. Hey, every, different strokes for different folks, right? Okay. I just said some pragmatic things. Yeah, she can say something. That motherfucker ugly. And Ralph Ralph Parsons ugly. He's ugly. No, you can look at the pictures of me when I was young. I was cute. And lots of girls were like, ooh, I want to have his baby. Yes, I was a cute kid. I have attractive parents. Yes, I do. Rihanna's cute. I didn't say Rihanna's not attractive. Okay? I'm just saying Russell Wilson's wife, okay, is probably a tad bit more physically desirable than Rihanna. Yeah, you can't say that. I'm, I'm just a lot of people. Okay, I'm just saying what everybody else is thinking. Okay? But they're not willing to say it. Come on, Bernie Mac. Okay. I'm kicking Barack Obama's ass here. He's an asshole. He needs to stand up for Lord's Prayer. He needs to stand up for Lord's Prayer. All the people that are his business associates and friends, I'm going to have them all ravaging each other like a pack of wolves. <laughs> you fuckers, you hear what that fucker said? I believe you're capable of living the Lord's Prayer and truly loving your children for the first time in your life right now. When you're watching this, not right now when I'm saying it, because it takes like two and fucking half an hour to fucking load because of all the perverts at White Sands and NASA. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Is it time to live uh, uh, empathetic, respectful lives like Judy Christenberry yet? Is it time to live? Come on, everybody. Are we still stuck in Devonte Swing's basement trying to make it big in front of Sivan Cowell and his stupid ass? <laughs> that man talks. And he makes make-believe money. How do you make make-believe money? You don't. Okay. Do you love your children? No, he won't stand up for a Lord's Prayer. But I believe you can. I believe Simon Cow can do it. I believe Adele can do it. I believe Jennifer Hudson and Common can do it. Yes, I believe the Jada Pinkett Smiths can do it. Come on, Will, let's do this. I'm going to grab you by the balls and squeeze real hard and make you feel pain. So are the kids. No, don't touch dad's balls. Let mom do it. Okay, do you understand? I believe. I believe you can do it. Question is, do you believe it? All right. I love you, all right? Peace.